Hi, my name is Tom Ross. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, how to use the bank banker's algorithm. Uh, this is a fulfillment of the class uh, CS541, the operating system, as part of the requirements. Uh, the banker's algorithm is actually used uh, when a process requests for resources in, uh, in up by the operating system and uh, it makes sure there's enough resources uh, in the system. If uh, there's not enough resources, yeah, the required request is denied. I'm going to de demonstrate to you on my computer how the process works. Okay. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start to put in uh, the number of customers that are going to request for the resources. And so let's start by putting in five. And uh, the number of resources will be three. And then will enter the available instances for each uh, you know resource uh, for example for customer one the resources will be zero one zero for customer c1 will be uh, two zero 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 for customer c2 will be three zero two For customer C3 will be 211. And for customer C4 will be 002. So 002. And customer C4 will be. Now we can enter the, the resources uh, for each of these uh, customers. For C0, the instance of the resources will be, uh, uh, this is going to be the maximum resources that will be required, uh, will be 7, 5, 3, and uh, 3, 2, and uh, nine zero two then two 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 then four three three so sim is in safe state then we'll enter we're gonna need to enter any request for an additional customer making a request for the system to check if it is safe or not. So let's say three, two, two, and So it says that the customer is exceeding limit, which means uh, uh, the request is not going to be granted, so it is unsafe to grant that request. So we're going to try this again, and uh, see if uh, the request is going to be granted. So we'll go back and do that again. So again, we'll enter the number of customers, five, the number of resources, and then we'll enter available resources. Then we'll enter two, zero, zero, zero not three, zero, two. So two one one and zero zero two
So maximum instances we Two, 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 four, three, three. The system is safe, so we can make a request. So it's not going to be granted to, and so we'll try a, a different to make a different request too. So we'll run this again. So available resources will be three two. And uh, allocate resources. So we're now allocating the resources. Zero two two one. the maximum uh, instance of resources um, um, for each of the customers So the system is safe. Um, so the system uh, system safe sequence is one three uh, four zero two. So now we we'll need to make a new request from a new customer. Let's say the request will be four three three zero. Okay. So the request can be granted. The system is in safe state. And also the system safe sequence is one three four zero two. So it says thank you for your patronage. So now we can see that uh, as long as there's enough resources to uh, service the request by the customer, the request is granted. And also that the request is denied when there's not enough resources and the system is unsafe. Anyway, thank you for your time.